So in the event that that happens and the little foxes, little fox cubs come out, I decided to set up another camera here. I put up another camera which faces the entrance directly rather than from the side. It's quite a bit further from the entrance, unfortunately, because there isn't a tree close enough. Nevertheless, I hope this camera provides another perspective and should the cubs come out, that's the tree. That's where I set up the second trail camera to monitor the fox den. This fox den, which is basically a side entrance to the set of the injured badger. Here is the original trail camera which I had there. And there used to be another one here. But it's not there anymore. The reason why it's not there is because I took it off. <laughs> I took it elsewhere. Why did I take it off? Well, it's a bit of a sad story for me. The reason I put it up there in the first place is because I expected a group of fox cubs, a beautiful bunch of fur balls, come out of this hole and learn their craft of being a fox outside this den. But life in the forest can get harsh. The fox parents had been tirelessly bringing food to the set to feed the cubs, but while still too little to walk out of the den, another carnivore, another predator, although lower down on the food chain from the foxes, happened to have found this set and while the fox parents were out there hunting for food to feed the cubs, he walked in and killed the defenseless cubs to either feed himself or his own offsprings. It was a pine marten. When I watched the video on the trail cam, it was truly heartbreaking to see him walk out of the den with the defenseless fox cub in his mouth. It was really sad for me to see one cub down but the marten didn't settle with this easy prey. He came back and killed again. Took another cub and basically dispatched the whole litter. When the fox parents came back from the hunt and found the den empty, no cubs inside, they were visibly distraught, must have been terribly sad and animals do experience sadness. They walked around the den in disbelief, but I guess eventually they realized that that's just the way it goes. They themselves are carnivores they themselves have taken offsprings of other animals and left these other animals in grief, so now it happened to them. It's just in a way ironic that it would be Pine Martin of all animals that would take the cubs. It's usually the other way around. It's usually foxes that take Pine Martins if there is an encounter. So, no more second trail camera. It would seem that the fox parents have moved out. They just can't bear the thought of living in the set where they lost their babies. There hasn't been a sight of them for a few days. So no cups for me to film, not even adult foxes anymore. But I'm gonna keep the original camera here still. Maybe somebody's gonna reclaim the set. Rest in peace little fox cups. You didn't even get a chance to walk out to see the daylight. Oh well, life goes on in the forest.